Tangerine Travels. You are Tangerines. I am Maddie. This is Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and we just had a really, really great breakfast at one of our favorite spots in the whole city of Guadalajara called Organic Now. And now we're going to head to our Airbnb. And I just seriously, I can't wait. It's our first holiday, our first Mexican holiday. Is this our very first holiday or like our first major holiday? I'm not sure. First major holiday for sure. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited. After some scary driving through Guadalajara, we just made it to our Airbnb. <laughs> we and say that every time we take the car out it's here. It's like, you just said it in the car, it's like it gets, it's worse every new time we go out and drive. I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you to everyone who's booked through Airbnb through our link because it really helps us be able to go more places. Um, like this weekend. This is, it's a big expense for us to mm -hmm. get a hotel or an Airbnb somewhere. Because of you guys, we're able to do this. And if you haven't signed up for Airbnb yet, you can go ahead and do that with our link that we're going to put in the description. It is bright. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you get $40 off your first stay, and then we get a little bit as well. Now, we are walking to Avenida Chapultepec because it's super close to this Airbnb. Uh, because we noticed on the drive over here that they're setting a bunch of stuff up. I believe this is for the parade, the military parade tomorrow. Estamos en el Jardín Carmen. Del Carmen. Del Carmen. Y estamos en ruta de, del centro de Guadalajara. El centro es casi 30, 30 minutos desde nuestro Airbnb. Ahora comemos, uh, cenamos, así, uh, caminando. We're grabbing a bite to eat here. And I got a pesto pasta with chicken for 69 pesos. Oh, and I got nachos for 49 pesos. <laughs> We're not even through security yet. It's only 5 p.m. Mexican parties start late. And man, there's a lot of people here already. Yeah, so we're pretty much in Centro right now. And the difference between this morning when we had to go to the post office, just a few streets over that way is insane, the amount of people that oh, are yeah. here now. But we're about to go through security and it looks like there's a lot less people in there, which is just my style. <laughs> We just went through security, super easy. Pretty much take stuff out of your pocket, go through the metal detector. Uh, he did look at my bug spray funny though. <laughs> I don't know what, what, that, what that was about. There's no way. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot less people. I thought maybe it would cost something or that you could only get in once, but that doesn't seem to be the case uh -huh. yet. <laughs> and why do you think that? Because there weren't many people inside? Yeah, because no one's going inside. I thought maybe it was like, go inside and that's it. You have to stay here. We were living in Guadalajara for four months, over four months or so, and I don't think we were ever part of an event this big, and this is not even in the full swing of things, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, this is going to be nuts. Uh, you could just feel the excitement and the energy, or maybe that's me. <laughs> to a shoe store because my other shoes were getting so bad. Hit airport security, so we're turning around now. <laughs> um, someone recently told me that they recognized me when we were walking by, or will recognize us because they saw my boots. Well, I'm sad to tell you guys, but those very recognizable boots that I've been wearing for seven months now have completely died. Thank goodness, it was about time for they were, to die. They were getting really bad. <laughs> Show me your botas. Guys, new shoes have never felt so good. <laughs> and they were 239? 29. 229 pesos, which might be the cheapest pair of shoes I've ever bought. Cheapest pair of boots. Thing I've never done before, I literally put my old shoes, my old boots in the box that these came from, and I was like, do you guys have a trash in here? <laughs> that tells you how bad they were, and I'm just hoping if they can give them to someone, or redo the soles, or, I don't know, revive them somehow. Good but luck. <laughs> long past their lifespan. <laughs> Stop to get a quick drink at Teco Yalo, which is at Teatro de Guadalajara. Yeah, 
Oh, they go yellow. Okay. <laughs> and right now we can see the area in front of us completely filling up with people. We are getting slightly overwhelmed, which I know is kind of sad considering there's way more people coming every single second. What do you think so far? This is how we like it. We're off to the side with a view of everyone. <laughs> Not really in the crowds, but still able to feel a part of it. <laughs> to start the music. <laughs> no, Ryan! <laughs> so it's about 8 o'clock, there's live music. This gigantic mariachi band, like a hundred people. I'm just kidding, it's probably a 12-man mariachi band. <laughs> there's a lot more people, it's a lot louder, but surprisingly... I can't, I can't top that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Try. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, so the kids are doing their As it turns out, we didn't know what we were doing. Well, I, something weird happened, I think. The fireworks that we saw earlier in the night, somewhere around early 10 o'clock-ish, yeah. might have been at the time El Grito happened. So we went over there at, I don't know, 10.06, because everyone we talked to said El, Gr El Grito happens at midnight. And then after that, there was a concert. And then after the concert, everyone left. Every, I mean, almost immediately. Yeah. So we thought, what the heck is going on? And the friends that we were with thought that it was because people... Were upset have, with the government. Yeah, upset with the government, have kind of gripes with them for not doing the right so thing, corruption. We, yeah, we waited around for an hour, and, and then at midnight, nothing. nothing happened. Security was leaving, almost everyone cleared out, so... I'm kind of sad. We missed yeah. like the grand finale, basically. We saw the fireworks and everything, and I'm not gonna lie, this was super, super fun. A really and the, big, the concert awesome event. was really cool. Yeah. But the events aren't over. There's gonna be parades tomorrow and stuff, uh -huh, and we're yeah. gonna be checking them out. And we're not gonna freaking mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Got ourselves out of bed early. Dragged our booties out here. And now we are going to experience our first Mexican parade, the Independence Day Parade in Guadalajara. So if we can wake ourselves up with a little bit of coffee here, I think Maybe we're going to enjoy this. <laughs> So 
so a bunch of the parade has gone by. What do you think has been the most unique part? Well, I didn't know there was such a thing as like hawks in, involved in military. So there were like attack yeah, like hawks, fighting hawks, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yeah, I thought that was super unique. And most of these guys are on point, like seeing them all walk in unison is super cool. It's all flawless. So I didn't totally know what to expect with this parade. I honestly thought it was going to be like different uh, branches of military marching, but I was not expecting hawks, horses, dogs, reforestation, helicopters flying over. This parade keeps going and going and going. There's so much to it. Helicopters flying over all different branches of military. Sirens going. So many people. Seeing all the different types of military and police go by it makes me think back to when we first came to Mexico. And I literally thought anyone who was a police of some kind was a federale because in the U.S. people commonly refer to them as the federales, so I just thought that's what police were called. It wasn't until farther down the line that I'm like, oh, that's the federal police, and there's the state police, and then I'm just municipal from there. Municipal police, transit police. cops. <laughs> transit cops, darn those transit cops. <laughs> Based on the huge amount of people in this parade, I would think that this is the entire military of Mexico. But it, it can't be. It has to be like a small portion of it, which is crazy. Unless this is the only one of the main parades, but yeah. I can't imagine that this doesn't happen in every big city, every state of Mexico. There's so many people, they just keep going and going and going. <laughs> We think that the helicopters were flying so low that they knocked down all these branches here. So we're at Glorieta Niños Héroes right now, and this is where the parade starts, right over here. And over there, and over there. Like they've got everyone lined up on all these side streets. How on earth did they organize this? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. On all oh of these gosh. side streets. Wow. Uh, we went over to the beginning of the parade to expect to find the end of it, but nope. no, it just keeps Nowhere going and going. And it's not just the military, now it's like the fire department and other emergency personnel. Forest services, the Calvary. <laughs> the Calvary. <laughs> So as usual, we had no idea what to expect with this parade. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like 30 minutes of people marching and I mean the crowd is about what I would expect, especially for somewhat early on the, in the morning after a night of partying. <laughs> yeah, how do they expect you to get up so early after staying up till midnight waiting for El Grito? To not happen at midnight. <laughs> But this was a lot of fun, a good end of the weekend. I don't know if more stuff is gonna happen later on in the day, but if not, our first Mexican Independence Day. Yeah, this was, was kind super of awesome. cool, and this parade was no joke. All right, well, if you like this video, please give, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. <laughs> to see more of our adventures in Mexico, and... Come on, Nathel. So you get notified the next time we put out a new video. I'll see you there. <laughs>